his soulful voice is a description of who he is and how he is. Michael, I'd like to welcome you to the podium. Please come up. Topic is, as he said, soulful voice, which means, in a sense, one part is when I used to go to church um, singing in the choir was something that I really didn't enjoy doing, but my mother pushed us and made us do it because all the children, all her children were going to church because we want, want all those souls to meet up in heaven, you know, so we're going to try to do everything accordingly uh, by the good book, you know. Uh, and if you didn't go to church, my mom had a way of inserting certain affirmations to your butt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know so. And if you if you were sick, yeah, that's another thing. But if it was just something that you know you just didn't want to do, then what she would do is make you clean up the house. And everybody know on Sundays in my house when I was growing up, it's a big mess thrown everywhere, all around. So you have to clean up everybody's mess. So the next time she asks asks you to go to church, you would be more than happy to go to church. <laughs> But she always wanted all of us to sing on the choir. Well, singing on the choir, like I said, I didn't enjoy doing it, I suppose because I was forced to do it. And it's like anybody else or most people, if you're forced to do something, you, you might do it, but you don't want to do it, and you may not do a good job at doing it. Well, as time went on, uh, I, I didn't think that uh, I really could sing, really, with the uh, with uh, the church, and I just wanted to go, you know. But in time, it all I suppose played out. Then, I, as Scott mentioned, I joined the military, and I was in there for a number of years. And as I was going through it, me and my buddies used to do uh, what they call horseplay. Run around, you know, they used to call me big country. Well, I am, you know, like they say, you can take the boy out of the country, but, you know, the country is still here inside. So I would just run around, you know, because uh, I had a big mouth. Just running my mouth all the time and, you know, trying to sing here and there, you know, you know, but I couldn't really sing. Yeah. And then some of my friends used to tell me, say, well, Mike, why don't you try out for the Post Talent Show? I said, you crazy. I'm not going. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not me, you know. <laughs> you know, I have everybody laughing at me and this and that. So they kept talking to me and kept pushing me, saying, hey, Mike, why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? So finally I gave in. I talked to the music director of the, uh, of, of the shows, of the talent shows. And for some reason, he told me, he said, you have a pretty nice voice. This is that. Because I used to run around like I like singing imitating voices like Barry White, Isaac Hayes, uh, uh, Peebo Bryson, Larry Graham. And I think when I, uh, the first time I tried it, I came in first place. 
And that was amazing because I, I couldn't believe I did that. You know, I'm in first place now. Somebody must be playing a joke on me, and that's what I was saying, you know. But then after that, then they used to have little Broadway shows for the military, and then I used to win a lot of uh, awards because they used to have talent shows. I think it was on like, uh, it was uh, like every, once a month. <clears throat> and from that time on, I was just singing, and I would come in either first, uh, it had a first, second, or third place. And I think they were probably, uh, I think it was probably about a hundred dollars, you know, first place. But back there, that was back in like '78 or '79, yeah. something like that, you know. And when I did that, I felt somewhat of confidence and myself to push further on because we were doing little Broadway shows like uh, like Showboat and I did that one thing, Old Man Rivers, they had me up because I used to work out a lot. And I still try to, but you know, as you get older, it kind of slows down a little bit. You have to push yourself a little bit more to uh, get uh, try to keep what you had, you know, or be a little bit stronger. Well, that's basically uh, what, uh, what uh, first coming to my conclusion. And if it's all right, I'd just like to show you what the voice was all about. So I'll just hit a couple of bars if it's okay. Hopefully, I won't run you all out. And say, no, shut up, you do have a big mouth, you know. <laughs> but I do sing in the church choir. I do a lot of that now, but not as much as I used to, but I just want to. But I'll just hit just a couple notes. I won't break the windows or nothing like that, I promise. One more valley, one more river, one more mountain to cross. 